Alright, I'm May, and this is my first video blog. Uh, mostly I'm doing it because I didn't feel like writing today, or typing. Yeah. Even the toy has made me very lazy, it seems. Although, <clears throat> I'm enjoying not following anyone else's schedule but mine. I felt like I really have anything I have to do. So, that's appropriate, it seems to me. Anyway, I'm just sitting here enjoying some time with tea and waiting for a beautiful spring morning to start. And I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that's going on in my life. Like the unemployment thing. I need to take this pretty little form that says where I've been applying to work and go to visit the unemployment office tomorrow. So that'll be fun, I'm sure. Most annoying thing will probably be taking the bus. I get harassed a lot when I take the bus. It's fun. Anyway, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm going to the Tivoli to see Mythic Journeys. I'm looking at the flyer here, and it says, Mythic Journeys reveals the potential power of myth to transform our lives, bridge cultures, create communities, and communicate across generations to evolve into a new consciousness. So it turns out this guy, uh, James, an applied mythologist and educator. I met him somewhere and didn't know anything about that. But he and the Greater Kansas City Friends of Young are going to be doing a panel discussion afterwards, so that should be interesting. I'm sure. Because I like myths. In case you hadn't noticed. If you hadn't, I should probably link to that post. Hi, Inky. I don't know if you can hear me meowing, but that's Inky. So what I'm reading these days are... The Art of Civilized Conversation by Margaret Shepard, because it's always nice to find ways to get out of shitty situations gracefully. <coughs> Wench by Dolan Perkins Valdez, which I was supposed to read for my Women's Studies Meetup last month, but the book from the library didn't come in until afterwards, so now I'm reading it. It's good, but I'm reading it very slowly because of the unpleasant topic. Like women getting raped all the time. Um, that uh, I am gonna pronounce it wrong. Bahaga, the the whatever Gita. It's a penance or a book of um <coughs> Indian whatever myth. Anyway, that's also slow going, but because it's written, I don't know, like the Bible, but not exactly. Anyway, and then I just started a beginner's guide to constructing the universe, the mathematical archetypes of nature, art, and science. And that's lots of fun. I only read the introduction in the first chapter so far, but I already feel less annoyed by numbers, so that's a good thing. And then finally, Weave World by Clive Barker, which is what I'm reading the fastest. And it's a lot of fun. It's about fairy land. Gets, we gets weaved into a carpet, <clears throat> and then everyone tries to get the carpet for their own nefarious purposes, of course, because that's what people are. But it's really, really good. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, oh, yeah. Haircut. In case you hadn't noticed that. Yeah. Still trying to grow my hair out, but it was becoming very unmanageable with the other two, so... Hopefully this one will make it out easier. I also got a new locket that my baby got for me. Made by a local artist, Paula Llewellyn, I think. Anyway, I'm totally in love with it, so that's awesome. Even the little clasp is cool. The heart with an arrow through it, which I love when people pay attention to details like that. It's awesome. Um, the other shiny thing in my life is the new bit to my crystal collection, which is this amalgamation of beautiful quartz crystals. Same things are awesome. And then otherwise in my life, I don't know, I'm trying to find a job with not much success. The cats are crazy, especially since the weather's nice. They're calling at the door as I speak to try and go outside. Oh, and I don't know if you can hear it or not because the microphone and the camera picks up the camera's internal fan, apparently. But I've been listening to a 
band called Camera Obscura this whole time. Anyway, my friend Rose got me into them. I'm enjoying them a lot. They're from Scotland. And they kind of remind me, like, if Amanda Palmer was less irritating. Which is a very nice thing in the Palmer. I like her, but her music tends to give me headaches. So anyway, I think that's all I can think about to babble about today. Hopefully you enjoyed some of this show and tell or something, and hopefully you have a gorgeous day. Bye.